Uh, thank you for watching uh, this video. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to handle zero balances in accounts of civil aging. So let's get started. Uh, before we start, this video is presented by newqbr.com. So this is the place you come in, newqbr.com. So in here, you can uh, sign up for a new QuickBooks Online or add new company. It's right here, sign up QuickBooks, homepage, sign up QuickBooks and uh, you can sign up from US, you can sign up from Canada, you can sign up from UK, you can, uh, can uh, sign up from Australia. So we cover for, for big market here. And so uh, newqbo.com, uh, people from all over the world, it's close to 200 countries, they come to newqbo.com to uh, learn about QuickBooks. QuickBooks Online. So, in this video, let's talk about the uh, AR aging, uh, how to clear this. So, as you can see here in, the, in this in this uh, aging, you see Kelly Construction has zero balance, Office Construction has zero balance. So, we're going to figure out why we have zero balance and how to clear it. All right, let's go to the uh, customer page for this one. As you can see here in this example, we were originally invoiced for 625 and uh, they returned uh, one product uh, for we sued credit for 125 and and then they made payment for five hundred dollars. So it's basically six twenty-five minus one twenty-five minus five hundred uh, the balance is zero here. It's it's zero bound but on air raising still showing like a zero there and on the st under status it's still showing partial here partial unapplied okay so in this case all we have to do is click this one receive payment under action so this is the customer page here receive action receive payment click this one and now it's basically you will see both here, amount received zero, outstanding transactions, invoice right here, 125, and you should credit 125. So all you have to do is uh, save a new or save and close, then uh, see what happens. Save and close. So as you can see here, now uh, it's uh, everything is paid. It's paid here, close, close, close. That's what you want. And let's go back to the aging to see uh, uh, this zero balance disappear. Should clear now. All I have to do now is refresh it. See what happens. All right, the, uh, that one is gone. Kelly construction, you don't see it here. That one is gone. It fixed. So that's what you have to do. And uh, now the next question is, why do you have this zero balance? Uh, you don't want to see it then there's another way to do it okay so the reason you're getting the zero balance uh, although you, you know you receive payment and it's your credit uh, and and there is a reason why you're seeing this so let's go to the uh, uh, QBO settings right here so it's basically from the company gear and uh, select uh, uh, company settings under settings here and you come to advanced right here advanced okay so he's under automation it's right here apply apply credits here it's off here so the moment you select this then you automatically apply credits uh against those uh invoices okay uh so let's go back to the other one so why do you need this off and if, and it's some, in some cases it's better to do it just manual just like we did it here now let's go to the other one here's office construction you will see partial just like here there's the 750 original invoice and uh, they sent us 625 uh, payment and return one product. We should credit memo still sitting in here. Okay. 
So if you want to apply this credit against specific invoice, then you have to set it up as as manual, uh, manual credit. In here, that's why you uh, turn this up. The setting is right here. And it's possible you have a bunch of open invoices and uh, and they return some product and you want to use your credit and you want to apply that credit against a specific invoice, not just random uh, uh, credit against uh, open invoices. You want to be specific on a uh, certain invoice. Uh, so it depends upon, you know, you sold one product and uh, you want to apply that credit against the same product. Or if you have a project and you give uh, uh, credit uh, for that certain project and you want to apply that credit against that specific project, not some outstanding invoice. So you want to be specific and you want to apply that credit. That's why this thing is off. And in that case, you always have to use the manual way, just like we did here, so right here. Uh, so we want to apply credit against this 750. It says unapplied here. So we want to apply this 125 against this 750. And under action, you will see right here, seven the receipt payment, just click it. And this amount is zero, it's in and out, it's outstanding against credits. So just save and close. And refresh it. It's gone. So what happens if you uh, change the setting, this uh, the settings, automate this setting. We want to just apply automatically credit right here. Automatically apply credits on all right let's save this and done okay so now let's go back to this customer here simon construction and let's look at your uh, customer pays simon construction right here Okay, so in this case, it's basically it's the same thing. It's 1050 original invoice. They paid 875 and they returned something for 175. So we have to issue credit. So let's see what happens. We're just going to issue credit and see what happens. So here's the invoice, original invoice. So it was a product B and uh, quantity is 6. And uh, they paid for uh, five, so they return one. So let's we'll issue credit for uh, one unit. Simon Construction, right here. Let's leave this open. Product B, one seventy-five. Is a credit memo. Here's the credit memo. We're going to issue credit for one unit. Product B, 175. All right. We're just going to save this. Save and close. Okay, that one is saved. Now let's go to the aging. See what happens. See right here, this one. So once you refresh it, it will be gone. So it's gone. And let's go to the customer pays. See, automatically apply credit, and everything is gone. See, it's paid, close, close, close. So automatically created this entry. So uh, the settings. That's what you'll do. If you if you create this uh, settings uh, uh, right here from here. This is the home page. From here, company settings, advanced, and uh, apply automatically apply credits on here. So that's so that's what we did. So if you uh, if you don't mind applying credits against uh, 
uh, open invoice. So that's what you have to do. So if you have like only few uh, non-service or non-project uh, oriented invoice, open invoices, then uh, so you have to leave this setting on. So most of the company they just leave this setting on. Uh, but if you have a specific situation where you don't want to do that, then you have to turn this off and then you have to do the manual uh, uh, in and out type of policy payment thing. That's how you have to do it. So anyway, uh, uh, thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Bye.